so why would we be here to charge? Nothing over there, nothing in these parking spots. Well, if we go all the way up there, we can see an EV charger. Here we are today then, coming to you from Melrose in uh, Massachusetts, just a little bit north of Boston, and a fairly common charge point station here, and a Volt and a Kia Nero EV behind it. Today we're not actually here to look at regular old stations, we're going to look at one that's a little more innovative if you like, and uh, maybe could be useful for crowded cities and streets. <laughs> Well, there we are, pretty regular old street, right? If you look carefully on that uh, little plaque there, you'll see it's telling you to scan the QR code, because if we go all the way up there, we can see an EV charger. There are two J1772 plugs on this one. Um, it's a pole mounted charger installed by National Grid and on the Amp Up network, which I have had installed, although I can't remember why. The idea is you scan the QR code right down here from the app, you have that retracted, and uh, then it will all plug in as usual so it looks like it's pretty good positioning i don't know how busy this uh stretch of street gets on a regular day today is a sunday it is right next to the uh, train tracks so there could be a station access here that uh, would make it busier but pretty empty today but we'll get out and see if it works okay so you can see on the app there's this qr code just says position QR code within the dotted lines and you've got your first plug and your second how to start charging using app amp up open the app scan the QR code hold down the button to extend the cable okay there we go scanned So it's dangled down from there and you can hold the thing here and you'll see when I do that, pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, it extends down. So you just pull it across and that looks like about as much as I'll get. I'm not sure how far that would extend, but that will go all the way up to this. And let's see how much we get. Pretty neat. I mean, as far as space saving goes, you've got a regular L2 charger there, but well out of the way. No, uh, not taking up any street space, not in a position to be messed with when it's not charging. Um, and it all seems to be pretty smooth. Scan the QR code, as I say, you've got individual separate QR codes for each plug up there. Um, we'll give it a little bit of juice here, but then we'll see maybe how far it comes out. Test the other one, see if that works. So you could have two cars charging here. Um, there is nothing on the ground. There's no marking to suggest that this is EV parking only. That could, on a busy day, mean that you uh, won't be getting a charge here. People maybe use those spots more than the street spots. You can see all the usual uh, kind of information that you would get on a charging app. You can see the plug that I'm on is now in use. Interestingly, these are actually up to 9.6 kilowatts. So it's uh, a good little bit of an extra bump for the cars that can uh, charge a little bit faster on their regular AC uh, level 2. Yeah, 9.6 kilowatts would be a decent little chunk. It's uh, saying 8 here on the Bolt TV, so 
that's uh, usually more than we'll see the seven kilowatts is what we'll usually uh, push up to you can see the uh, the two different stations the one that's available is the second plug and 25 cents per kilowatt hour so you're getting charged by energy rather than time uh, and then kind of nicely there's uh, all these little restaurants nearby it's a nice little touch not many apps do that I know Plugshare tells you what uh, amenity is nearby and you can obviously click through to Google Maps but uh, it gives you some uh, some little suggestions for where you might want to go and eat um, so that's pretty cool and telling me how many kilowatt hours approximate range which will be based on the Ball TV's EPA presumably and projected price that's just the kilowatt hours how many it thinks I'm gonna get in the hours or the uh, time that it's a lot of me this two and a half hour slot so hopefully that would keep people moving along this is uh, I guess um, potentially in place to stop this is fairly residential area so maybe you don't want people parking overnight and using the plug or parking during the day using it as their uh, personal charge station you want to keep the users flowing through so that maybe just shuts off after that time period probably doesn't stop people plugging into the other one or uh, restarting a session but uh, it's something I guess you can't camp too long it's nice to see a little bit of uh, experimentation test some different styles of stations see how they go I do wonder how the uh, the local residents and the uh, folks who use these spaces otherwise will see these things but maybe if they're EV enthusiasts or uh, looking to get one themselves they'll be positive on the move and as cool as this is I do want to uh, get on so if I click end session let's see what happens you get a confirmation that you want to do that reservation time that's how long I would have held it if I'd wanted to charged for 15 minutes here added almost two kilowatt hours for 52 cents it's just pulling itself it hangs precariously oops that's uh, maybe not the best way <laughs> maybe I should have held that a little bit longer hopefully those don't get damaged with idiots like me doing that but looks like it's all set while I'm here I figure why not park a bit further away and uh, see how far this extends try the second plug make sure that's working okay and uh, give it a go so a bit further away let's say these two spaces were blocked and we needed to pull it a bit further let's see if this second one will reach again just firing up the scanner right away and there it comes Okay, now do we have enough length here to get to there? Uh, it's going to be tight. No, no, that's a good amount. Let's see how much more I can pull out of it. So it probably is a 25 foot cable, all told. Maybe 20. So if someone extends it a bit too far you start to get kind of a dangling effect, a bit too much slack. So people using these should be kind of careful I guess that we don't uh, overextend. But that could definitely be if those were two spots that were filled with non-charging cars. That would extend to another space in front. And most likely the other one would go to another space behind, so that's pretty fair. Is it going to go all the way now? No, well, you want to be careful not to plug that in and wrench it off your cord. Anyway, let's see if we can do a perfect return here. 
No swinging. Let's let it go up. That's still going to do a little bit, but better than nothing. Looks like these will extend at least a couple of parking spaces either side. So even if you're not right by the pole, you'll still get a charge. And then I guess it just depends how busy the street is. Maybe it's worth coming back on a weekday where people are using the train station to get into Boston and other locations and see if this road fills up. But as it stands, that's a pretty fun, useful way to add charging to a, a street without too much extra work.